Hi there, I'm Linford, also known as Reality Crafts, and today I'm going to show you a little project that me and my friend did. So my friend Aravin, he wanted to make a longboard out of a piece of solid wood. So we went ahead to the local uh, lumber shop and we got a plank of beech wood, which is roughly about 4 feet and about 30 cm wide and, uh, and I think it's about 22 millimeters in thickness. So we went ahead and uh, brought it to the workshop and then the first thing we did was to figure out what kind of shape we wanted to use for a longboard. So my friend wanted a pintail design which has a rather broad uh, front and at the back is rather thin like we, we hence the name pintail. So we went ahead and got a few pieces of paper, taped them up and roughly drew out the template. And then afterwards, we traced it on to the wood and then went ahead and cut it out. So the first thing we had to do was to cut off the excess because the, the length of the, the wood that we have was around 4 feet. And then the finalized length for the long board was around 100 centimeters. So we had to cut the excess off. So we went ahead to the circular saw and just to cut off that small little bit at the end. So the next step was to cut the shape of the longboard out. So unfortunately, the band saw in the workshop wasn't working, so we had to use a jigsaw. So it took a little bit more effort to cut. Although it took a little bit long, but we had to work with what we have. So once we cut the shape of the long board out, the, there were some tool marks that were left on the edge. So we had to uh, round, round off the shape just to get the profile nice and round. So we use uh, certain types of wood roughs as well as a belt sander to just to round everything up nice and smooth.
Okay, so once the longboard is pretty much roughly to, to the shape we want and it's all nice and smooth around the edges, we used a router with a rounding bit just to make the longboard, the edge of the longboard to be nice and round. And we did this for both sides of the board, top and bottom, so that when you step on it, it doesn't feel as sharp because a right angle edge on a longboard will be pretty dangerous so it's better to make it nice and round So after 2-3 to three hours of work, the longboard is finished, however it's not completely finished yet as we still have to get the trucks and the wheels and bearings for the board. So we went ahead to our local skateboard shop and we got some uh, wheels, bearings and trucks and uh, if you're wondering why there's two pairs because um, the, one, the ones that are on the bottom are mine as I'll be making my own longboard as well. He kind of influenced me into making a longboard, so yeah, look out for a future video on that. And then once we're back in the workshop the next day, we mark out the holes for, for the screws to go into the longboard. And then we used a cordless drill with a 5mm diameter drill to drill the holes. And unfortunately we didn't have a countersunk bit so we had to work with what we have so I went to get a Dremel, a Dremel tool with one of the uh, grinding uh, bits which had a cone shape to it which is um, I would say not the perfect setup to making a countersunk but we had to work with what we have so what I did was I used the Dremel and I did like a circular rounding motion around the hole and it seemed to work quite well and was able to make the screw nice and flush with the wood. And the final step is to mount the trucks onto the board as well as um, put the bearings into the wood. <laughs> Yeah, I press down on this. On the middle? Uh. No, I push in the sides and I press down the middle. Like top and bottom only. But for some reason, this is stuck. How am I gonna put this in? It's so deep! No, that's what he said, you have to swear. Am I doing a video to the recording? Yeah, I know, but <laughs> some of these parts I'm gonna cut it out and uh, I'll put in just. The jokes. Yeah. <laughs> it's so deep. <laughs> Wow, good luck about this one. 
<laughs> Lucky I didn't get this, this these wheels. I, I was on the verge of getting these wheels. You know? These wheels? I got these wheels. Look, safe right there. And then the board is finished. So that's the finished product. It looks very good and it rides very very smooth. Well, also because of the wheels, because my friend Arvin he spent about two hundred dollars on getting the trucks and the wheels. So these type of wheels and trucks are very good for downhill and cruising, which is perfect for our sort of uh, use. So yeah, uh, I'm very happy. It turned out quite well for our first longboard build as uh, Arvin hasn't uh, done uh, builds like this before and I sort of assisted him and helped him build the board so he's very happy, I'm very happy and well I would say this project is a success. So you might be wondering isn't 22mm thickness for a board very thick because an average generic uh, skateboard or longboard has a thickness of about 110mm or at most 14 to 15 mm so 22 mm is rather thick for a board that that's because um the wood is made out of a solid piece of wood so unlike your normal uh, uh factory produced long boards which are maple wood that has been glued several times veneers so it acts like a plywood and uh Plywood is like more, uh, it's a strong, it has a stronger bond because the wood are sort of cross grain and aligned. So, having a solid piece of wood, you have to make the board slightly thicker. If not, there's a chance that it might break a lot easier than if the thickness were to be same as a generic long board. So, it seemed to work quite well. So, it, I wouldn't say it's the best long board out there, but for our sort of use, it's good enough. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and then I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.